Hello everybody, McGregor here, and welcome to another uh, Nimbatus tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how I made my uh, magnetic couplers. Uh, so, if you guys don't know, let me just actually show you what this does. So let me just separate that. So I'll just fly this little drone over here. So, as I fly in closer... You'll see my electromagnetic uh, magnet turn on and they'll be drawn in and then they lock together and I can actually now tug this around. I have built um, a growing drone using this. Uh, so basically all what this is, let me just separate this. Uh, let's separate. They're both actually set up exactly the same. So we have the logic splitter to keep everything contained in our little bubble here. I have an AND gate, which it's looking for an input of A and D, which are these, and they are set to the own drone. So basically, as I'm flying in, both of these have to hit for this to turn on, which is W. You can see here W. So as soon as yeah these two hit, I know I'm coming up to something that I want to attach to. Turn this on and then I stick like glue. <laughs> the exact same thing is with this one. Uh, here's D, here's A. This is an AND gate, A and D, hit W, and W is a track. Now I have this tiny like setup. Uh, shorter these lasers because I didn't want stuff to accidentally get caught in here and that's why I don't have one I have two sensors and uh, also I have this kind of um, kind of like a little cradle for uh, this here so that they actually fit together and I have this longer because this is my uh, flying drone where I, I, I'm using this one to get into it uh, and this having this longer actually helps me uh, draw it in so I'll decouple again fly over here so as you can see as soon as I get up close you'll see them draw and this time that did not work very well. <laughs> Let's do this again. Come in here. And there, smash. So, and it's, it's, it can be fairly hard to um, break these, rip these apart. You can, you honestly can. Um, but it is, it is harder, which is why I actually have two magnets, one here and one here so that they do um, actually let's increase this a little bit more that might help so that they do stick together a whole lot uh, uh, much more better than just one uh, in my old uh, tests when I was doing this I only had a piece of metal here and it would it would rip off quite easily and of course the more of these you have for your uh, coupler, the stronger the connection is going to be. Like that. So let me load up my my other uh, drone, the one that I was talking about that actually uses this. And I'll show you real quick uh, how I'm actually using uh, these things here. So as you can see here, um, I, here's my drone where I have this set up where you see the uh, magnet and the distance sensors here is the logic splitter can you see it's set up like that um, and then once again a and d w will activate this and it locks into place here so once again a d w bam and then it just snaps right into there. I, I would actually have to go into the actually you know what let's just go into 
this here just so I can show you guys this. I do have a video on this drone uh, itself. Just so you can see it in action real quick. This here is just a little carriage that helps me bring my drone up. We'll go straight up. Let me go into automatic mode. Decouple this. And I'll come over here. And then we gotta catch up to the head. Now I think there's a little bit of a bug because I don't know why these are actually flashing. And there. And then it uh, attaches. And then, as you can see, we can now turn. Um, but yeah, if, if you watch the video itself, you can actually see um, how big I can actually get this thing. But yeah, anyways guys, that's going to be it for this uh, tutorial while stuff falls off the ship because I haven't actually <laughs> finished working on this thing. I know I keep saying that, but uh, yeah, laziness, yay! But uh, <laughs> if you have enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye